Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Heno's Lego Robotics. Today's video, what I want to do is piggyback off of a video I did last week on the no wheel, no gear, no tire, no circular robot race video and be able to show you what some of my students have come up with for their robot and the race. So if you guys want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, so if you guys forgot last week, I have a project that my students are doing where they have to have a race. They're gonna, the robot's gonna go from start to finish. The catch is they cannot use anything circular, nothing to propel the robot that is a wheel, no tires, no gears, no sprockets that are circular. So their robot is gonna have to somehow move using something else. Now they can create something that's circular out of something that's not really circular to get the robot to propel itself. And so I am just gonna sit back and watch my students figure this out. So for those of you that, that are doing a robotics curriculum, this is one of those cool projects where the very creative students will now flourish. They're gonna have zero instructions, unless they find something online, to get their robot to go from start to finish. So this is one of those projects where I encourage my students to fail. Like you are going to fail probably more than once, probably more than three times until you figure out, you know, how this is all going to work. And so they can use their ball bearing because, you know, the ball bearing is not really going to get their robot to move. Uh, so for those of you that would do this project, I would say allow them to use their ball bearing. But their robot is going to, you know, they can use gears, but the gears can't be the thing that's rolling along the floor. So they can attach things to the gears as long as the gears are not rolling and moving the robot among it, you know, within itself. So what I'm going to do now is show you some of the video clips that I have taken of my class and their robots and their no gear, no tire, no sprocket, nothing circular robot race. So take it away.
So hopefully you can, you know, encompass this project in your class and just watch your students, their creativity take over. Uh, be definitely be, be there to encourage them. Like, I know you failed 10 times, but we can figure this out. And once they start seeing the other students and what they do, they might take some of their ideas and put it into their robot. So just sit back and enjoy this one. It's really cool to see what the students come up with in this robot race. I would definitely not put these robots side by side because as you saw from the video, a lot of them tend to veer off. So I would just, I time my students. I just say, hey, go to the start, go to the finish. If you want to even, you know, have them compete that way, I just tell my students, if you can go from start to finish, you'll get the best grade possible and then you know take it from there but if you guys want to race and have a competition i would just say time them individually and have it be compared by time so hopefully you guys enjoyed that project i am mr hino from the singles lego robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.